we start? In the last episode of Tales of Megan, we talked about penises. And Pokemon. And Pokemon. And Jedi Souls. <laughs> Jedi Souls. And pretty much everything except the game. <laughs> And now for the next exciting episode of Tales of Megan. Dun, 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 dun. I made this dun, joke dun, dun, in the dun, Dragon Ball dun, Z one, and it dun, wasn't funny dun, then. Dun, dun. Where's the landslide? <laughs> we weren't paying attention to this game. We I, both I think you turn, turn around and then go back up to where yeah, over there it fell. Oh, there's a shiny. I see a shiny. Oh, oh damn, it. damn it. I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> um, so, Pokemon. Yes. I still have more to say about that. Um, okay. So, I was talking about how your rival was a complete punk ass. Um, it's unimportant. I have a big important question before you continue. Yes. I know that there's no Bulbasaur. Yeah. And I'm guessing there's no Squirtle because I heard there's no Blastoise. Uh-huh. So, is there the most important Pokemon in there? Yes. And there's a Dynamax form of them. I'm surprised you haven't seen the Dynamax form. I'm surprised that they... Well, I'm not surprised because, I mean, Charmander is just the best. Yeah. But that's weird that they got rid of the other two starters. I don't know why, but... Um, what I was going to mention was... Um, what was I saying? Uh, I lost my train of thought because Alvin was talking. Damn it, Alvin, don't talk while I'm talking. Try to talk about fucking more important shit like Pokemon, you You're, idiot. You start off with I don't care about your dying mom. <laughs> your rival. Start off with the rival. Being a punk. Yeah. And then, um, what I was going to mention is that when Yadira beat one of the Dynamax Pokemon, she beat a Togepi, and she got to catch it. All her Pokemon were around, like, level 10. The Togepi was around, like, level 18. So she caught it stronger than her starter. And, of course, it didn't listen to her, though, right? No, it did. Because, like, she Not has... Me. She... I think she beat the first... She did the first gym, and she can... Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. If you catch Pokemon that are too high of a level, you're not allowed to catch them at all. You... They stops you from catching them. What? Yeah, so she's allowed to catch Pokemon up to level 25. Anything higher than that, she's not allowed to catch. Catching, I understand. Okay, whatever. Well, how about training your, your Pokemon up? Like, train them up to past level 25? They should be able to. Because I, I didn't even think about that actually. Because I would do that, you know. I would still grind yeah. Charmander, you know. Yeah. I don't know about that. Hmm. I have to ask her. Maybe get him into a big beef boy. Yeah. Because you always make your starter stronger. It's yeah. the one you're more attached to. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the one that you start the journey with. Yeah. Uh. It's your buddy. But yeah. Yanni, so, I think you need some coffee. Yeah. Um. Where we go? Head to the area. I was trying to talk about Pokemon. Fucking Alvin kept interrupting me. Like it's something about story and plot. Or dying nonsense. mom. Yeah. What a selfish I don't asshole. Fucking care. Like, come on, dude. I'm talking about Pokemon. You mind? Like. <laughs> so speaking of that, well, I watched the new episode of Always Sunny last night. Uh huh. And they had a jumper on the roof, right? Uh huh. And the uh, police woman came in. <laughs> so they were watching some British TV show. And the police woman came in, like, oh, shit, cop. And then fucking, like, Dennis got up, put his arms behind his back, Mac went up against the wall. <laughs> and everything's like, no, no. I just wanted to tell you, you have a jumper on the roof. No one can come in and out of the building. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so they, they uh, she left. And then they were just like, well, you know what this means, right? And they're like, what? And like, we can't go get our fish and chips. <laughs> and then they, had, then they had a whole conversation. Well, they were going through an algorithm to see if they should do anything about the jumper on the roof. And then they came to the conclusion after going through it, because they said there was, could he, would he, and will he, or something like that. Like, could he jump, would he jump, and would he die if he jumped? And then at the end of their, their algorithm, they came to the conclusion that it would be beneficial to Patty's pub if he jumped and killed himself, because then they can name drinks after suicide people and put their pictures up around the wall. Wow. So then Cricket's like, they come up like, all right, well, we need to go through an algorithm of how we're going to do this. And Cricket's like, I'll push him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so they give Cricket a broom. <laughs> and they're like, all right, go do it. It's like, you're going to want to, you're going to want to stay hidden as you commit the murder. And then it's like, well, don't call it a murder. <laughs> he was going to jump. <laughs> 
And the guy eventually came back down because Frank was like, I'm the father of the, the idiot who's going to kill himself. And then he finally came down. He's like, that's not my dad. And he's like, well, you're not Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think about Pokemon back on topic the topic we should talk about and not tell some silly oh, I thought you were going to say it not always sunny <laughs> um, always sunny is always a topic I was talking to my coworker, and he's like yeah I'm going for Pokemon Shield because I don't like the sword Pokemon and I'm like oh you don't and he's like yeah I don't like that he has a sword in his mouth that's really stupid and I was like yeah, I know. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, uh, it's okay, you don't like it. And he's just like, I know. That's that's my other co-worker's argument said, too. But um, he was like, wouldn't it be better if they had swords on either side of their body? They'll like come a, out. Like a and, Zoid? Like, like a Zoid? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, exactly! And I'm like, you know, that would be really cool, but I'll one-up that. Why don't we just make it a Zoid? Yeah, <laughs> why don't the legendaries just be a Zoid? Why the why, fuck not? Why don't they just make a new Zoid game that is a fucking RPG and you just go Look, around capturing Zoids? All I'm saying is that Nintendo's, um, if there was a lawsuit... Oh my god, look at that, look at that fucking go. Zoids... Zoids lawyers wouldn't have the money to have a lawsuit against Nintendo. They really would. Zoids has been... I don't know how popular it is over in Japan. They are pre, they're still really because popular. Because I know, yeah, they're still doing the, the children's TV shows now, which actually really pissed me I off. I mean, Nintendo is like the equivalent of, like, Disney in America. Like, you know, you, you can't stop them. <laughs> you can't, you if they can't wanted to them. put Zoids in their Pokemon game, you couldn't stop them. So it was like, yeah, make their legendary Zoids. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I'd just be like, oh yeah, we totally came up with this on our own. I, just, I still just think that fucking Zoid should make a Zoid game. Yeah, I that's thought, also I a good idea. I thought that the assassin girl had a Christmas hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right! <laughs> because I'm like, oh look at Santa, wait. <laughs> oh look at Santa, kick his ass! <laughs> Die, Santa! Speaking of Santa, there's this episode of Always Sunny. <laughs> you really have Always Sunny on the brain. I mean, I always have Always Sunny on the brain. That's true. This is not the first time you've talked about it. Or on or in the channel. I hold myself back on the channel, trust me, at work I don't. <laughs> Whenever I say there's an episode of Always Sunny, there's, there's audible groans. Yeah. <laughs> um, when my, um, my co-worker went to get his knee surgery... I was going to play the Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I told him, I'm going to know the shit out of you because it's all going to be talking about. And he goes, I'll be, you know, I'll be like hospitalized for two months, so I don't have to deal with that shit. Two months later, he comes back. So Fire Emblem Three Houses. Did you talk oh. to anybody? <laughs> nope, waited for you. Oh, you thought I forgot? <laughs> of course I wouldn't forget. Motherfucker, I never forget. <laughs> never forget, never forget. <laughs> we won the battle. No, oh, pro laugh. <laughs> Tired. I mean, you you pretty pretty much stomped on. That's the only thing. Leia, Leia went in, swung once, and then she's like, "I'm done." It's the only thing that I I would I wouldn't say dislike, but have maybe a small gripe about with video games is when like you destroy the enemy, and then it's like, "Ooh, that was a tough fight." And you're like, yeah, not or, really. Or like it's like you do a fight you're supposed to lose. And you stomp the shit on them, and, and then like, you but bully you, them, and then you and then still lose. They, yeah, you lose in the cutscene. Yeah. But um, what I liked about the first Kingdom Hearts is that if you win battles, you're supposed to lose. There's a different cutscene where cool. they either lose or they win the cutscene, and they're like, "I almost fucking lost. <laughs> that was luck." More uh, more games should do that. Yeah. Only a couple more souls from the innocent until I level up. <laughs> hey, little girl. Do you want to be part of the collective? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm the Lord of Spirits. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bad serial killer going around calling themselves the Lord of Spirits. <laughs> Kidnapping children. <laughs> uh, is this contemplating murder? Do you think that child's soul would be good for the collective? I wonder how tasty the soul will be. <laughs> oh, Mila, you and your jokes. <laughs> Come on, we have to do our mission to find the missing children. <laughs> that would be like that. You see the meme with um, 
SpongeBob. Where SpongeBob looking at the wanted poster of SpongeBob, and it's like uh, they, they they used it for like Dexter, and they used oh what was the other one they used it for? Oh for uh, like fucking Death Note. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, like Dexter Morgan searching with um, whatever police department looking for the Butcher Bay uh, murderer, but he's the Butcher Bay murderer, and so it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mila in the party looking for <laughs> the child kidnapper. <laughs> Mila's like, this will be a very hard mystery. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to solve it. We should probably just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> it might be too late. Oh no. He's catching on. He has to disappear. <laughs> Who's talking? Whoa. Poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> and then Alvin eats it anyway after that happens. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> They're dead. You detect that faint odor. How can you tell? They're not fucking breathing. He, he shit himself when he died. <laughs> the poison that dissolves in liquid. Oh, yeah, remember, oh shit. Remember when we were talking about how this game is actually pretty dark? Uh huh. So got uh, light and fluffy mood in them. Yeah, these guys just got fucking poisoned. And died, That yeah. fucking turns liquid into, or dissolves into liquid or some shit that you uh, just said. You have to take a piss. I remember in Tales of the 2, the beginning was like really... Oh shit, was one of that white-haired girl just died in the back? I'm pretty sure they all died. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure all the ones that, that ate the poison are dead. Mm. Exodus is behind this conspiracy. What's that? It's an organization that has been mm. trying to assassinate me for some time. Wait, and you didn't tell us why? <laughs> You're saying that I'm in danger. Ooh, look at the time. I guess I'm going to have to be heading home. You know, yeah, I know you told me I wasn't involved. I think you're right. <laughs> They poisoned the food. Well, how'd they know that the food would get the meal? They poisoned all the fucking food. <laughs> you literally can't fuck that up. <laughs> you can't fuck it up. Because I've been destroying their spyrexes. Dun dun dun. Appeared with them 20 years ago. That's quite some time ago. Hold on. Does that include the last? Hold on. You're telling me that you're over 20 years old. <laughs> Wow. They blended populace. That's cool. That's cool, Mila. But just tell me who I have to kill. <laughs> yeah, just point. This is all what it's coming down to. Just point and say which one is it. Which we one in the lineup why. is it? <laughs> you point at Elise. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Elise. <laughs> just following orders. <laughs> Elise is like, fucking try it, noob. <laughs> Come at me, bitch. <laughs> I fucking work out. <laughs> Are you summoning that fucking Death Reaper again? Come on, Elise. I said that's cheating. I'm fucking ripped. <laughs> I don't skip leg day, bro. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta chug another monster. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You're saying that you eat shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> that was bench warmers, right? I I, I forgot which that was from. I heard it from a couple of different things. Yeah. I'm not sure what the first can't one can't remember where I got it from. Oh, keep... oh! <coughs> That's from, uh, isn't that from Dodgeball? I am sorry. Was it from Dodgeball? I don't remember. I really don't remember. Because that's also where the no one makes me oh. bleed my own blood. Yeah. <laughs> no one makes me bleed. And then he's just like, this is laser. This is razor. This is splazer. <laughs> um... It was very heated. It was a good thing that Pinky survived. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, I like how it was like they had a heated discussion over. I mean, you mean all the people that were just poisoned and murdered in, in, the <laughs> fucking, in, in, the, in down there in the cafeteria? They're all just arguing and they're like, all right, fine, we're just going to eat some food and we'll continue this. Oh, shit! 
he goes back, he goes back in. So the committee is no longer having a heated discussion. The one guy like walks away, comes back, everyone's dead, and he's just like, I win! Ha <laughs> 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 It's like, the tournament's still on. <laughs> now we do what I want, because I'm the committee. <laughs> I want pudding. <laughs> New rules. Must must have a one shot pistol. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the golden gun. <laughs> um, I've been like What's stealing that? jokes constantly. I've been going up to Yadira and be like, "Look at you! I'm, you're probably all naked under those clothes, you slut." <laughs> and she's like laughing. And I'm like, "I stole that from Ted. <laughs> I can't take credit for that." <laughs> Find Alvin. Do we have to? Like, probably. Dumb bullshit with his fucking dying mom. What a, I think I think he's up in that where there's that one lady. What a loser. That was by herself. I think that that was his door. Uh, yeah, I think he's up there. Don't really remember though. Let's find out. The next time on Tales of No, Megan. no, we're not done yet. I know. <laughs> I just did that as a gag. I thought I'd psych you out. It's like, wait, what? The okay, video's so over. I lied again. Oh, if you're not up there, then he might be over by the wyverns, but to the right. Instead of and the so left. left. Oh. I think. Wyverns, but the right. It's the left. Yep. Yeah. The right? Right. This one? Or the yeah. other way? No, the other way's left. Well, do we go left and then right? Or do we go right and then right? No, we go over here because look, there's a cutscene. There he is. And he just melted through that door. From? He's a ghost. What if Elvin's been a ghost his entire time and his mom has been dead forever? <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> you lost me. What if Elvin is a figment of this party's imagination because Mila's spirit power is corroding their brains? And Mila's actually just pushing nobody up against the wall. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, are we frisky today? I need a permission to Exodus and then we can bone. <laughs> Can't you tell by how my chin comes through this mask? But I'm stuck. Because of your mother. Oh, well, I can fix that. Shrink! <laughs> Let me help you with that. You, you spilled that really easily. Well, to paraphrase Tico, you are a big fat liar. It's a good movie. Get that right. No point in roughing me up for answers. Because you can't trust anything I say. Or we just kill you. <laughs> that mean, yeah, we we could just for the exodus kill them agents. and then kill them. No. We'll have sex later. I'm busy. Oh, I was joking. What? Really? That was on the table. <laughs> no, well, she walks the table away. Now. She walks away. It's like I I'm so confused. Should I be happy? Find exit. I mean, easier said than done. I think we found them. <laughs> uh, Exodus is, I mean, you can just go on Google and type in Exodus and then band, and then there you go. Hey this passes him a Bible and slaps it out of his hand. <laughs> no! I want the music! Where have you been? We were worried sick. We had like to kill that. like 13 people until we found someone who knew where you were. <laughs> we didn't have to, we just wanted to. <laughs> We were kind of mad we couldn't find you, and we took it out on this old lady. <laughs> she really had it coming when she said, Hello there, sweetie! Like, who says that? I can't find Mila. God damn it, I haven't found a way to get all the stress off. Hey, you old bitch! <laughs> you want some hard candy? <laughs> when I throw you in the, the moat down there, I want to see how many times you skip. <laughs> I love the young people. <laughs> this dude's a fucking uh, a Goku spin. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, you think you're tough, old lady? Oh, no, not disqualified. Well, okay, so you think after those people just all got poisoned, there is now less of them, and then the party now Do has a better win? chance of stealing the Wyverns without having to go through the yeah. tournament. 
Uh, there's less I, people to fight. I like the idea of these Exodus guys. We should just poison everybody, take their birds. Yeah, they, dragon they, birds. They're really helping us out here. Gave me a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was the Exodus. They killed the guards. Oh man. <laughs> Fucking Exodus. Luckily, we came here in time to make sure that the Wyverns were still safe. <laughs> We'll just take one out for a test ride and bring fucking, it right back. Fucking Mila's looking for the Exodus agent. She picks a little kid up and hangs the kid over the bridge. Are you one of the agents? Oh, let me go. Answer the fucking question. You want to be let go? I'll let you fucking go. You better flop your arms and see if you can fly, you little piece of shit. Way. Mila, she's not an agent. Put her down. Oh, I'll put her down. That's right. She's not an agent. She's fucking dead now. And then the kid, like, bites down on a cyanide pill. <laughs> Don't you bite down! <laughs> and then the kid's like, From Mother Russia! <laughs> From Mother Russia! <laughs> For the motherland! <laughs> it's like a little five-year-old! One of those, like, back teeth bombs. Or <laughs> boof! <laughs> it's like a five-year-old with, like, a deep Russian accent. <laughs> it was a spy. I'll right, go back there right now. Whoa. Fucking pull out a hunting knife. Uh, I knew she was a spy. <laughs> like, Holy shit, you were right. We're never gonna doubt you again. Wrong choice, so, like, bitches. Or what? What was your hint? And the kid had like a five o'clock shadow and rippling <laughs> muscles. <laughs> in the back, there was just an AK with just a muzzle tucked into the pants. The friends were just sticking the stock above their head. I don't know. I just had a feeling. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an expert. I have a sense for these things. Oh, no. Kill him. Well, we still need those wyverns, so forfeiting is not an option. But the so, kill them. kill them. Why would they revert to an older set of rules? Because it's because more fun. Exodus wants to kill us. Smell the poison coffee, kids. Ah. Uh -huh. Obvious. This is a plot by Exodus. Ah. Uh -huh. People trying to snuff you out. Are you sure? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> they go in the arena, and the little kid with the five o'clock shadow shows up. <laughs> Welcome to dead. <laughs> I love how the fact. So Jude is a really smart person, right? He's a fucking med stu uh, school student uh, trying to become a doctor. He's not an idiot. They were just almost poisoned in a cafeteria the night before. And then they said, oh, Exodus has been trying to kill me. Now they come to the arena and it's like, oh, the rules have been set back. So old rules were now it's a one on one fight to the death. Who could have done this? Who? Why would they do this? Why would they do the old oh, rules? What? A fight to the death and now Mila's gonna have to fight one on one? Hey, small child, do you have any idea? I have no idea. <laughs> what a cute little girl. Is that your AK-47? How dare they stain our proud tournament with their foul tricks. This is an outrage. Oh, hey, the white hair girl's okay. She's right there. No, no, that's just not a member. There's fucking clones everywhere. <laughs> They just went in the closet and pulled another one out. <laughs> pulled another one out, just went beep. Him. <laughs> Hello, I am white hair girl number three, four, five, seven, eight. How may I assist you? Three, four, seven, eight. You're my favorite. <laughs> I Your appreciate hair... those kind words. <laughs> You're my. You you have the whitest hair of all of them. You want us to take care of the Exodus agents in the stands? Yes. So when you say take care of, do you mean take care of or just like take care of them? <laughs> he's sitting down with an Exodus agent having coffee with them and he's like, I'm taking care of them. <laughs> wink, wink. He's like, are you an Exodus agent? Oh shit, I've been found out. Well, come on, let's go get some fucking lunch. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> are you enjoying your fucking meal? Um, it actually is very delicious. Thank you. Good. Keep eating, motherfucker. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> He's like, just in case you meant the other meaning of 
take out, and the guy falls over and dies because he's poisoned. I took, I covered that base as well. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I wouldn't get confused. Well, well it's, it's long-acting poison, or slow-acting poison. <laughs> so it's not until they go home, they, they meet their family, and they're like, yeah, a really weird day where someone found out that I'm a murderer, and they took me out to lunch. <laughs> they lay down in bed next to their fucking loved ones, and they're like, ah, what a weird day. <laughs> nice peacefully to sleep. <laughs> that's, that's really dark. Holy shit, Mikey, calm down. It's not <laughs> me, it's Jude. <laughs> He's like, I didn't know what you meant by take out, so I just did both definitions. <laughs> I figured I wouldn't be wrong if I did both of them. If you cover both faces, you're bound to get the right one. I'm really happy you meant kill. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you did it, well, that would have been really awkward. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Next time on Tell Zillia, we're talking about killing more people. In the arena. Uh. <laughs>